I call the Honourable Member for Lindsay. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline the steps the government is taking to build a stronger economy? How will a stronger economy lead to more and better jobs in Australia? I call the Honourable the, Mem the, Honourable the Treasurer. Well, the starting point I say to the member for Lindsay and all members of this place is that we've got to fix the budget mess that we inherited from Labor. Yeah. I mean, if, if we allowed the budget to continue on the path that Labor laid down, every single Australian in 10 years' time would have $25,000 of government debt against their name. Every child born in 10 years' time would have $25,000 of debt at the moment of birth as a result of what Labor has done. And six years of Labor was like a wrecking ball through the Australian economy. We are determined to deliver growth and jobs. And for the people of Western Sydney, where the member for Lindsay resides and works, uh, the fact is we are committing nearly $3 billion for new road infrastructure and we are getting on with the job of building Badgerys Creek Airport after years of procrastination. And in addition to those people, we promised we'd get rid of the carbon tax. We've got rid of the carbon tax. We said we'd get rid of the mining tax for all Australians. We've got rid of the mining tax. We said we'd start the process of rolling out the biggest infrastructure program in Australian history, and we're doing that. And we said, of course, that we were going to start to fix the budget, and we're getting on with that. But of course, but of course there are obstacles. And today being Thursday, it's Book Club Thursday. <laughs> Book Club Thursday. We don't Who's have our favourite author? Who's the our author? Every the time I speak, his sales go the up by one. I will not use the book as a prop. Where's your book? The Treasurer has the call. And I'll tell you what, Madam Speaker, in 400 pages of the Swan book, we couldn't find one mention of surplus. Not one mention. Oh, come on, Swanee! Not one mention. Not one mention. Try it now. The Give us one surplus, Swanee. Seat. The member for Lily on a point of order. Speaker, that's a lie. Uh, the member for Lilly knows that it's against the standing orders and will withdraw. I will not withdraw. It's a lie. The member for Lilly will remove himself under 94A. The Treasurer has the call. He may quote from the book but not use it as a prop. Well, Madam Speaker. I'm just going through the index here. I can see Dominic Strauss Kahn, superannuation, Aaron Swan, Kim Swan, Libby Swan, Matthew Swan, Wayne Swan, no surplus. <laughs> I, can't, I can't find it. But he promised it. How many times? 300, 400 times he promised it. The he member even for claimed Gordon. to deliver a surplus. And Labor claimed to deliver a surplus. But the fundamental problem is that Labor were wreckers in government, and now they are wreckers in opposition as well. They are opposing $40 billion of savings that are going to try and fix the Labor mess, the irony being that $5 billion of those savings are the things they actually announced, but now they're opposing. They are hypocrites when it comes to the budget, and they're reckless when it comes to the economy.